Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike McAtee and Joan Miller. Good evening, and welcome to the ECC 2017 Award Dinner and Ceremony. For me, tonight's event is always a highlight of the conference. It is such a privilege to honor an individual who has had a significant impact on this noble industry. We are the world's engineers, constructors, and technologists who design and build facilities and infrastructure that contribute to the world's economic prosperity, safety, and human progress. I am particularly excited tonight because our ECC Lifetime Achievement Award winner is Jacqueline Hinman, the chairman and CEO of CH2M. I have known and worked with Jackie for more than 30 years. During that time, I learned to appreciate Jackie's keen strategic thinking ability. I have marveled at her broad and deep knowledge of the industry, and I have admired her relentless competitive spirit. Despite her significant accomplishments, which you will hear more about tonight, Jackie has always remained true to herself and stood by her beliefs. She truly cares for and values people and relationships. And she has a soft spot for animals, too. Last year, when I led CH2M's global key accounts, each month, one lucky account manager was able to present their client needs and strategies to Jackie. Jackie would engage in a meaningful discussion with the account manager, provide insights and feedback, and then pledge her support to the account and the team. The account manager would return to their work motivated and energized to make a difference. She embodies and relentlessly promotes CH2M's culture and values, appealing to our employees' hearts, which in turn drives how we treat each other and our clients. Finally, since Jackie took over as chairman and CEO, she has been committed to a plan to ensure the economic well-being of the company, its employees, and shareholders. And I am pleased to say that that plan to become part of the Jacobs family is now being executed. Mike McAtee nominated Jackie for this year's Achievement Award, so now I'd like to turn it over to Mike, and he'll share his perspective. Well, thank you, Joan. Uh, good evening, everyone. I've had the pleasure of knowing and working with Jackie and CH2M for many years now. And frankly, I couldn't be happier about this year's deserving recipient. Not only is Jackie the first woman to lead a major global engineering and consulting firm, she's also the first woman to receive this prestigious award. It's about time. It <laughs> Uh, this award recognizes a career of excellence in the ENC industry. And her impressive resume includes more than 30 years of industry experience. And she has stewarded some of the world's most renowned and groundbreaking programs, such as the 2012 London Olympics, the sustainable city of Mazdar in Abu Dhabi, and the recently completed Panama Canal expansion, just to name a few. Jackie is a registered professional engineer she earned her bachelor's degree in civil and environmental engineering from Penn State. She's also a graduate of the Stanford Executive Program, and she's accredited by the U.S. Green Building Council's LEAD program. This past year, she was also inducted into the National Academy of Construction. However, it's really not her accomplished resume that defines her. While Jackie's incredibly engaging and approachable, which I think you'll see 
uh, shortly when she speaks. I think she has three core attributes that make her a uniquely remarkable and selfless leader. First, she has demonstrated a continuous and committed focus to sustainability. Sustainability of this industry, of our planet, and her company and its 20,000 employee owners by recently concluding the sale of CH2M to, to Jacobs. Programs like the London Olympics, which was the first fully sustainable event of its kind, are hallmarks of her philosophy and approach. In 2016, CH2M became the first professional services company to receive the World Environment Center Gold Medal Award. The second core attribute is ethics. Jackie embodies the role of an ethical leader and infuses the organization with her passion and conviction. I'm personally part of an owner company, and I, I highly appreciate her rare candor, her sense of fairness, and her accountability. But beyond my personal opinion, CH2M has been recognized for nine consecutive years as one of the world's most ethical companies by the Ethisphere Institute. That's a truly remarkable reflection of her leadership. The third core attribute is diversity and inclusion. Jackie has been a relentless advocate for the power of diverse and inclusive cultures. While she is uniquely adept at supporting and advancing the careers of female leaders in business, she also possesses a broad multicultural background. For several years prior to becoming the CEO of CH2M, she was the president of their international division, leading and integrating the company's business in a multitude of countries from North and South America to Europe, the Middle East, and the Asia Pacific region. In my opinion, the epitome of all these qualities is reflected in her understanding of the powerful and enduring socioeconomic impact that sustainable infrastructure developments can have. She currently serves on the Executive Committee, and she chairs the Infrastructure Committee of the Business Roundtable. She has also served on the World Economic Forum Global Advisory Council on Infrastructure. Throughout her career, she has led global efforts to ensure that critical infrastructure is developed in a sustainable and socially responsible manner for the betterment of our society. At this time, we'd like to present a short video to hear what other leaders in industry have to say about Jackie. Dear Jackie, when we met several years ago during a joint site visit, I remember observing how skillfully you struck a balance between being professional and personable and direct and eloquent. I admired your competence and confidence. I was honored that you, as a CEO, took the time to speak with me. You made me feel comfortable and heard, which had a lasting impression on me. I can say the same about our interactions over the last few years. In addition to delivering results for CH2M, you are outwardly focused, and it's clear that people and their well-being are an important priority for you, one which you devote time, energy, and focus. This is a defining trait in your role as CEO, and one of the reasons that you're a role model for people like me, particularly as a fellow female leader in a male-dominated industry. I have found great satisfaction from helping others just as you continue to help me. You are an inspirational leader, and the support and guidance you've provided over the years are sincerely valued as I strive to follow in your footsteps. Again, congratulations on this Lifetime Achievement Award. I can't think of anybody who deserves it more than you. Sincerely, Elisa. Congratulations on this award, Jackie. You're an amazing person. You're a trailblazer. You've got moxie. You're inspirational. Uh, you live your values. You solve issues. You're not afraid to speak your mind. Uh, and you always create value on every step that you take. 
Good luck to you, and we'll be looking out for what you accomplish next. Dear Jackie, just to let you know, I saved all of the notes that I took during every phone call we've ever had since that fateful day two years ago when we were paired as mentor and mentee through the Penn State Mentoring Program. After our very first phone call, I wrote, in all capital letters, Jackie is amazing. After many more phone calls, emails, and an in-person trip to your office in Colorado, I can say with confidence that my first impression turned out to be completely right. You're one of the smartest, strongest, and overall most badass people that I've ever met, and I've personally gained so much from having such a no-nonsense, straight-talking, and go-getting female mentor. You taught me to take initiative, that women need to ask, to seek out opportunities for myself, and to think critically about my life and career choices in college. Now that I'm a senior, I actually mentor many underclassmen myself, and I find myself repeating advice that you have given me back to them. Not only have you been a positive force in my life, but your words of wisdom have been spread to dozens of other students as I pay forward the mentorship that you've given me. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor than you, Jackie. Keep doing great things, and I can't wait to be back in Colorado soon to grab a beer with you. Love, Elena. Dear Jackie, everything about the engineering and construction industry changed when you became CEO. While most people think that it had to do with the fact that you're the first female to lead a multi-billion dollar global engineering firm, you and I both know there was a lot more to do with it than that. I think it has more to do with mindfulness, political savvy, and a positive energy of your leadership. It's a special ability you have to bring people together in an inclusive way, considering diverse perspectives and considerations when solving complex challenges, asking the right questions, and guiding your team to do the right things with all stakeholders' interests in mind. I understand that the right things rarely are the easiest to achieve. We know that's what makes a city like ours truly great. From the city and county of Denver to the national stage, you are a force for positive change. We're proud to share and your accomplishment, Jackie. Congratulations. Sincerely, Michael Hancock. Hello, my name is Jamie Diamond. I'm chairman and CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. I'd like, to, I'd like to add my congratulations to Jackie Hinneman, the chairman and CEO of CH2M, uh, as a recipient of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award from the ECC. I hope you all have a fabulous uh, night tonight at the celebration. I've gotten to know Jackie well over the years because we are both on uh, two business councils of some of the larger companies in America. So I've gotten to know her kind of personally, professionally, and obviously policy-wise as we deal with the administration. And uh, as the chairman and CEO of CH2M, you all know it's a complex business. She's done a great job running it, uh, adding to sustainability, growth. Uh, so I, I applaud your efforts and I know you just uh, merged with Jacobs and I wish you the best in that. Uh, but I've also got to know a lot better with the business counts and the BRT. And on the BRT, Jackie chairs the infrastructure committee, and she's used her brains, her, her, her capabilities to help further the cause of infrastructure, which you know is absolutely critical to the future health of the United States. She's also lent her expertise and brain power to work skills initiatives, uh, uh, corporate taxation, all the things we need to do to help our country grow a little bit faster. And uh, as a final thought, I think you all know she's high energy. She's fun to be with. So Jackie, have a wonderful night. It's been a delight getting to know you. Congratulations again. So as you can see in every respect, Jackie has had a remarkable and enduring career of accomplishments in the capital projects industry. She clearly embodies the core values and the mission of the ECC Association. It's therefore our distinct pleasure tonight on behalf of the ECC Executive Board and the entire industry to present Jacqueline Hinman with the 2017 
ECC Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Jackie to the stage. plenty of water up here if anybody needs it. Thank you everyone. So I'm standing between you and dessert and dinner so I will try to keep this brief. God it's really bright up here. Um, but anyway thank you Mike, uh, thank you Joan, thank you to the ECC board for this honor. Um, you know it's especially fitting to receive this tonight. Uh, you've only heard this about 12 times. I didn't realize it was mentioned so many times. But at noon today I was actually sitting in my hotel room uh, listening to our shareholder vote by phone uh, in which CH2M shareholders did approve the merger of CH2M and Jacobs. So I guess collectively <laughs> we bought you guys dinner and dessert tonight. I also th think, just to be honest with you, it's a perfect culmination. Timely, by the way. Good on you timely in the culmination of my career in the engineering and construction industry. Now, if you'll indulge me, it's a little cheesy, but we'll see if it'll work. Um, in keeping with the theme of the video that my team prepared, I'm actually going to share my thoughts with you in the form of a letter. Dear ECC, I've been asked recently what advice I would give after 35 years in our industry. It's pretty short, actually, just three points. Number one, you've chosen a great career and a great industry. Now stick with it. You're going to have good and bad days. You'll be frustrated with cost cuts and low budgets and delayed schedules and, yes, even hurricanes. But over your career, you probably won't remember those events in detail. They will pale in comparison to the feeling that you get when you can look at what you have done to improve your company and to improve the built environment. We are the lucky ones because we see the fruits of our labor every single day. I can honestly say that every day of the past 35 years I looked at myself in the mirror and I knew what I would do that day to make a difference in the world. So stick with it and pursue uh, and encourage others to pursue STEM careers and to enter our industry as well. The world needs more people like us to make it better. Number two, over your working life, you can have it all. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You just can't have it all on the same day. Looking back, I can tell you I have had a remarkable career. I have had a great family life. I have had amazing vacations. I have had plenty of hobbies. And I have had rewarding community service. But I have never had them at the same moment. And in any given year or month or week or day, sometimes work one, actually a lot of the time work one, Sometimes my family won. Sometimes my leisure activities won. Those were the better days. Sometimes my community won. Over 35 years, I won. Because I realized that you have it all over the course of a life, not over the course of a day or a week. So stop punishing yourself. Stop stressing yourselves out. Stop trying to balance and to have it all. Do the best you can. Follow your inner voice to prioritize, but do it over a lifetime. And number three, try to be the best for the world. 
Now look, we live in competitive times. We all know that. We talk about winners and losers and who's top ranked and who's taking market share and who are the corporate athletes. And we use words actually like the following ones that I took from the conference program. Competitive results, maximizing efficiency and profitability, productivity growth, and driving competitiveness. And of course, you know, all of these concepts actually have an important place in helping each of us and helping our companies reach our full potential. We all want to be number one. That's natural. And we all want to be the best in the world. Now, I would ask you just to change one word in that phrase, and then we have something to talk about. The best in the world? No. The best for the world? Yeah. Because you know what? We're the engineers, and we're the constructors, and we're the project managers, and we are the risk managers, and we are the world's practical problem solvers. And I hope you are outraged at the dichotomies of the world that you have seen so far. Now think about this. We have better technology and engineering and construction techniques today than in the entire history of mankind. And yet the world is more polluted than it ever was. It lacks, much of it lacks access to basic sanitation, infrastructure, and energy. We can produce and store and move more food and water than ever possible. And yet hundreds of millions starve and go thirsty every day. We put a man on the moon decades ago, but we cannot figure out how to deal with the urbanization and the industrialization of our own planet. I hope you're outraged. Because if you are, you are the very people who can and will drive positive change. Today, you carry the privilege and the moral burden of being someone that can make a difference. Now, there is nothing wrong at personally and professionally excelling, at being number one. But don't do it just for you. Whether you give back to your company, or to our profession, or to ECC, to our community, or you go above and beyond to spread our values of safety, ethics, and integrity beyond our profession, beyond this conference, or you work to deliver not just a return on capital, but environmental and social returns as well, you can do your part. Because being the best in the world, well, that's about you. Being the best for the world, well, that's about others. And the world needs our help. So, dear ECC, those are my three takeaways. Stay in our industry and do the important work of our profession. Strive to have it all, but realize that it's over a lifetime. And be the best for the world, not just in the world. You know, it seems like pretty simple wisdom gained over 35 years, but it's made all the difference. Thank you again for this great honor. Sincerely, Jackie Hinman. Thank you. Jackie, thank you so very much for those words of wisdom. We sincerely appreciate it. And on behalf of the ECC, I would like to award you this Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you so much. And by the way, when have you last seen two women doing this? <laughs> <laughs>